a mountain of garbage that became an oasis of hope. That's how one resident of Akamasoa describes the dump site. This pile of rubbish in Antanarivo was home to hundreds of families making a living sifting through the debris for scraps to sell. <laughs> it's hard work because it takes a lot of time to find something. Per day, I earn 40 cents for a bucket of coal, 50 cents for a basket of bones. I often earn 40 cents for aluminium bottles. For the last 30 years, humanitarian association Akamasoa has been building villages like these to help the poor in Madagascar's capital. This woman can now send her children to school and put a roof over their heads. After years of watching her mother dig through garbage to make ends meet, 12-year-old Mami Niriana hopes for a better life. I don't want to dig in garbage like my mother because it's not fair, but one day our life will change. I would like to become a teacher or a doctor. The town of Akamasoa was founded by 71-year-old father Pedro Opeka. Born in Buenos Aires, he wanted to be a professional football player, but instead found his calling in helping Madagascar's downtrodden. Bit by bit, with the help of the community, he built this village over a portion of the landfill, and it now houses around 25,000 people and schools over 14,000 children. We humanized this garbage. We humanized it because if it had not been for our school, all the work that Amakasoa did here, it would have been a place of violence and of total anarchy. Today, they are poor, but virtuous. There is a dignity here. This dignity is priceless. Liva believes he found dignity thanks to Father Pedro. He was six years old and searching for scraps on the dump with his parents when he met the priest. He was schooled thanks to the Akamasoa Association and is now a maths teacher. For me, Father Pedro is the hand of God that touched me directly. When he says something, he does it. I've seen it for a long time. For many here, Father Pedro is the embodiment of Christianity. His work and his attitude has a daily and uplifting impact on their lives. This man of God will soon be getting a visit from the church's number one holy man, with Pope Francis's visit to Madagascar in September.